is Melissa Hero and I'm a high school biology teacher at Carlmont High School in Belmont. And this is one of my favorite exhibits at the Exploratorium. This exhibit is made up of very simple materials. There is a frame and string that can be pulled up out of a liquid solution. The liquid is a bubble solution very similar to what you can purchase at the toy store. There are a few other things floating in the solution below, such as PVC pipe tubes. As you pull up the lever, it creates a huge bubble. If you try to put your finger through it, it will pop. However, if you make a bubble and put one of the PVC pipes through, the bubble around the PVC tube stays intact and you're able to fit your hand through the tube. This exhibit, soap film painting, is a great model of the cell membrane. Scientists describe the cell membrane as being a fluid mosaic. The phospholipids are not stuck to each other. They are fluid and can move around. In addition to being described as a fluid mosaic, the cell membrane is called selectively permeable. This means that the membrane allows certain molecules to pass through. Cells need to allow food, oxygen, and nutrients in, and waste or proteins out. This bubble in the exhibit is also selectively permeable. It wouldn't allow just anything to go through it. My finger cannot go through it without causing it to pop. However, it would allow my arm to go through when the tube was there first. This tube represents a cell's channel protein. This exhibit, soap film painting, is a great model of the cell membrane. That is why it is one of my favorite exhibits. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as my students and I have.